Uh, let's take a look at Tom Petty's tune, American Girl. The song is in the key of D. And let's just start by getting the basic chord progression of the song. And then we're going to fill in a lot of the uh, other guitar parts. Hopefully, when you're done with the video, you can play most all the essential parts um, as they are on the studio track. Uh, the intro just starts on a D. Uh, as the lyrics come in in the verse, it goes from a D to an E to a G no third for me, which means I'm not playing the A string 2nd fret, I'm just actually muting it with my 2nd finger. The A power chord, then back to a D, to an E, to a G, to the A, so all that's just twice. Second time through, hit the A for another measure, then back to D, then the G, and then E. G, A, D, B e minor, G, A, then back to D, the same as the intro leg. So that's the verse and the chorus of the whole song. There's a bridge, but we'll cover that uh, eventually. So uh, the lead guitar part on the intro is just going to play an octave D. I'm playing the 7th fret of my G string, 10th fret of my high E string. I'm going to let it ring the first time through, then... That's sort of the feel that I give it. Uh, the second guitar part is just going... So it's kind of a... It's basically a D, D2 chord, or a D power chord, really, no two in it. Just a 2nd fret G, 3rd fret B, just those three strings. And hammering on the 2nd fret of the G string with my first finger. Bulk of that it almost just sounds like an open D string to me. So that's the intro, just an octave against the. As we move to the verse, um, we've already covered the chord progression. Uh, the sort of lead guitar part is this. So I'm playing 3rd fret B, 5th fret high E, moving that up 2 frets to 5 and 7. That's an E position, this was a D position. G position, 8th fret and 10th fret B and E. And then up to the A position, which is 10 and 12 B and E string. Another way to play that, coming out of that octave, is on the G and the B string, as opposed to the B and the E string. 7th fret G, 10th fret B, up 2 frets, the E position, up to the G position, which is 12 G, 15 B, and then up to the A position, which is up 2 more frets. Then the guitar kind of splits off and does uh, the licks I just played there. So we're in the verse, we played this A uh, the second time through, twice. Just go to a D chord. Walk up to a G. Open E, second fret E. Then I just hit my open G string and maybe the top two strings. Then it's just a walk down, 
on an F sharp note, fourth fret of the D string, and then an E minor or an E7, sorry, second fret D with an open high E, and then a B string, and then an E string. So. Okay, so the chorus there, let me play through uh, the verse one more time. Uh, let's say a second time through here. Two of these A's, into the D. second fret of A, and then open, little hammer on the second fret of the A string to so the open D, just sort of arpeggiate that D, on the seventh fret I've got a double stop on the B and E, I'm going to hit it first, and then bend the G string on the 9th fret. So that together. to hear, sorry. third fret of the low E string, just chromatic walk to the fourth fret and the fifth fret of the low E string. And then stop on the fifth fret of the D string, or the A string, the D note. And then a little uh, lick here, just fifth fret G, sixth fret G, and seventh fret G. lick quite a bit as the chord progression goes in under you. Okay, let's take a look at the solo on the outro. It's really only two licks is the whole solo, but they're two really good licks. Uh, the first one is just I've got the uh, 14th fret of the E string, the 15th fret of the B string. Sliding from 12 to 14. 
on B, and the 12th fret of high E. Now we're going to come down to a riff that uh, is identical um, as you move it up the neck. It's just moving uh, the same lick through the chord changes. Uh, so the riff is... I'm going to use my middle finger, and I do have a fingernail, so it, it kind of it's fairly loud. It kind of equals the pick. Uh, against my pick, he's playing on the G string. So my middle finger is going to play the B string. Picks playing the G string. So pull off, G string, pull off, G string. Practice it slow to play fast. Move it up two frets. Up to the twelfth fret. Then up to the fourteenth. So it's basically a D position. An E, a G, and an A. Thanks for watching.